Hey guys, getting started with GNU Radio and GNU Radio Companion can be a lot of fun with the 820T2 software defined SDR dongle and the antenna into USB. Starting off, when you're building up your blocks from a tutorial, and I will put a link in the description to a good tutorial to get you started. GNU Radio Companion will give you er messages, error messages in red when stuff's not working. So you know, these blocks attach through clicking on their in and out components. You can see each block gets highlighted when we click on it. If we click on the middle arrows, you can see that it disconnects that connection between blocks. Now we've got a red lettering here, which is a red flag error message on the low pass and the rational resampler, meaning that block's not no longer connected. So just by clicking on out and the corresponding in, everybody's happy, they're connected. But just so you know, you can um, remove this, click on it and drag it, and notice that the line disappears. So just click on that to attach your blocks in the Radio Companion. Also, I've discovered that if your integer types, um, your data types are not matching up, you're going to have a problem. Like, let's go over to here to the um, RTL SDR source, which is referring to our dongle and open up those parameters. We can see that we got a complex float data type 32 bit. Now, if we go over here under the multiple um, multiply block, you can see we've got the IO type float. Let's try short there. You see how we're getting a uh, red arrow and the yellow lettering. This is probably not good. Actually, it doesn't even give me an opportunity to execute it. You see there. So you've got to match up your um, IO types, your data types, according to your source. So if you've got complex float 32, make sure if you're getting an error message like this, the companion is real good just showing you anything in red is not right. So you know, kind of look around and make sure that these data types are matching up. Let's change this back to float. And you can see we've got all brown colors, which are, show that they're matching up. And let's try to run it again. So you see we're good to go. When trying to execute this program, we are not getting any reading on our FFT plot. And we're getting a message down here that failed to open RTL SDR device, or RTL stands for the Realtek um, USB dongle, and failed to open the device. Well, this is a tutorial for Linux. Um, Windows users, you should be good to go out of the box, but for Linux, you're going to want to run this command, sudo modprobe. What modprobe is, it's loading a kernel module in Linux. And you can see, just follow this command right here, the RTL Realtek um, device. You can also put this in a, con you can also blacklist this in a configuration setting. I'll put a link in the description if you want to add this permanently to a configuration setting. I just run it as needed. So after running that command and putting in your Linux password, we're going to execute the program again. And you can see we're off to the races with our FFT plot and everything's working great. Those are a couple of helpful tips to get you started with GNU Radio Companion. Guys, post your comments below about good beginner tips getting started with this exciting program. You guys have a great day and we'll see you real soon.